Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Bolton Brews. Today, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the, well, I should say, fix the uh, sticker bomb on the rear axle. Every time I've been under there, I've been noticing some stickers are peeling up. So I went ahead and got this stuff right here. Um, my mom actually uh, suggested this for me. It's called Mod Podge. You can find it at like local craft or uh, local arts and craft stores and stuff. It's actually a, if you can see, water base, sealer, glue, and finish. So it does like everything. It, it glues it to whatever you're doing, it seals it, and it's the finish. So I got that and some little like sponge brushes. So I'm gonna go underneath the truck and touch it up with all that stuff. You guys are gonna like it. I apologize about the lack of videos this week. Um, I just got over the flu I had it this week, so I'm still getting over it. So bear with me guys, we're gonna get back on schedule. Uh, today, this is what I'm doing for you guys. I hope it's pretty interesting, especially for anybody that's ever wanted to do any sticker bombs or even like what's on the wall up here. I mean, those are beer, uh, uh, <clears throat> those are beer cases that I'm just cutting the sides off of and stapling to the wall. But I know like my parents, they take beer labels off of the bottles, like soak them in water, take the beer labels off, and then they use that and they paste it on the wall in the garage. So it, it's literally able to be used for any type of collage that you want to do whatsoever. So hopefully if you aren't sticker bombing your rear axle, you're thinking of doing some other collage and hopefully this will help you out. So Mod Podge, I'm gonna try it out. I've heard my parents have told me that it's good. I've heard other people say that it's good. So we'll see if it really is good. All right, so first thing that I have to do, if you see in there, there's a lot of dust and stuff from all the stuff that I've cut under here. So I have to get under there and wipe it all off with like a paper towel or something just to create a clean surface. So what I'm going to do is take the sponge brush, uh, take a paper plate, and then the bottle of Mod Podge, sit underneath over here to the left, uh, and then practically just paint on a coat over top of it and make sure they all stick down the way they're supposed to. So I've got you guys set up right here. This is the best angle I can find, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So since I'm down underneath the truck, I might as well fill up the rest of the rear end with the uh, nice old Lucas oil, gear oil. So I'll fill it up. Uh, there's, on four nine inches, there's a little uh, fill hole or fill plug uh, that takes an Allen on the driver's side. Driver side. Uh, you just pull it out, fill it up until you can touch fluid in there. Same rule as for any differentials, so. I'm gonna get to doing that, and I'll pick you up after. All right, got the fluid in there. It filled, like I said, fill it up until it starts pouring out a little bit. At least that's what I've read online because it's hard to get your pinky in there to feel. So as soon as it starts like dripping out of the side, out of the uh, fill hole, plug it back up, clean it up, you're good to go. Uh, that lube locker that I have in there, not a single issue. So I don't think I'm ever gonna can't mess with RTV or anything again. I think I'm just gonna buy lube lockers. Which, if you're wondering where to get the lube locker, I'm pretty sure I bought it from Summit. I think I got it from Summit Racing. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure I got it from Summit Racing. Um, but the way I put one coat on the uh, rear end with the Mod Podge, so I'll come out like probably later today or tomorrow and check to see how it is, see if it needs another coat. Uh, and see how it dries. It's supposed to dry clear, so I know it looked like it was all 
like normal white uh, glue. Uh, but it's supposed to dry clear. Uh, so hopefully that does the trick. Um, rear end or drive shafts in, all that stuff. You guys saw that in the last video. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, actually I'm not 100% sure on what I'm gonna do next, so um, I have a couple plans for the interior that I could do. I just checked the Instagram. We're at about, I think like 90 or 91 followers right now, so we are getting pretty dang close. Make sure you go check it out. I'll put it right here. Um, as soon as we hit 100 followers, I'm gonna be putting up instructions on uh, what you need to do to be entered in to the uh, sticker pack giveaway. Um, and then I'll give you guys a couple days to do that. And then I'll go through and pick a random winner and I'll mail it out to you guys. So I just wanna thank you guys for all the support, especially last couple days. Um, <clears throat> I've been pretty sick and, and I noticed that uh, Instagram kinda like fluctuates up and down with followers. It goes up, down, up, down, like, increments of five um, but this whole time I've been sick it's just slowly been increasing and it definitely means a lot to me um, especially everyone that comes back and watches the videos I appreciate all of it I think on YouTube we're up to like 43 subscribers is what it is right now so uh, we're almost halfway to 100 which was one of my first goals if you remember the goals video I did but I appreciate all support from you guys um, if you're new to the channel or have not subscribed yet like I say in every single video, you're gonna see cool stuff like this. Um, I try to make it as educational as possible for you guys. Uh, I know that I'm learning as I'm doing this, so I wanna share what I've learned with you, and I'm trying to translate that as much as possible into the videos. And I also do a couple like tech videos here and there, so if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And make sure you turn on that notification bell so your phone will let you know every time I post a video. And you don't want to be late to the videos because you know you want to see my beautiful face as soon as possible. Thank you again, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of video. Uh, if you want to see any t different types of videos, put it down in the comments section. And as always, any thoughts or requests or anything like that, put it down in the comments section. And remember, I do question of the days, so don't forget to respond to that question because I love talking to you guys, especially anyone who's commented on them. I always comment back, so make sure you answer that question. I try to make them as simple and interesting as possible, um, just easy answers, just so you guys can give like easy answers and I can uh, strike up a conversation with you guys. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Until next time guys, 